Thomas Philipp Reiter. Heute bei mir zu Gast ein Präsident, nämlich der Präsident eines europäischen Dachverbandes hier in Brüssel, obwohl er selber Franzose ist. Pierre-Jacques Castanet ist Präsident von Eurel Pro. Eurel Pro beschäftigt sich mit Renten und freien Berufen, aber wir lassen ihn selber in Englisch erklären, worum es eigentlich geht und was die Unterschiede zwischen Paris, wo er herkommt, und Brüssel sind. Pierre Jacques Castanet, uh, bienvenue, um, a warm welcome here to the European Parliament. I mean, this is your your job, um, being president of a uh, European association yes. based in, in Brussels here. Uh, president of Eurel Pro, what, what is Eurel Pro what exactly? Eurel Pro, exactly. Yeah. Eurel Pro is a European association uh, of uh, pension funds for only liberal profession, for independent people. And uh, I think it's very independent to, to share our opinion, to share our topics, to share our problems uh, with all the presidents, with all the independent professions. Mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, uh, I'm past president of the French uh, pension fund for lawyer, because I'm lawyer. Mm -hmm. And uh, I used to speak and to to think only in French, for mm -hmm. about only French problems. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, because I, I'm president mm -hmm. of a European association, it's very interesting because it's necessary to think or to try mm -hmm. <laughs> thinking mm -hmm. of a European point of view. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's very important because, you know, our country uh, are very different. Mm -hmm. So, but I think the topics, the problems and maybe the solution are the same. Mm -hmm. But to discover that, mm -hmm. it's very important before to discuss together, mm -hmm. to understand what, what the other want. And, but I think it's a very mm -hmm. interesting experience for a French man like me to... I understand now why you need Europe. But could you answer the question also, vice versa, why does Europe need you? I mean, <laughs> not you personally, of course, everybody needs you yourself. But uh, why, why does Europe why? need uh, Eurel Pro? Yes, why? Because, you know, for independent profession or liberal profession, now many people, uh, especially young people, young professional, uh, there is a, a European mobility. And it's necessary when you work abroad, To, to have the insurance that in the future your retirement will be fine. Mm -hmm. And it's very important that the European systems are the same because when, you are, when, we, when we, you will be retired, it's necessary to count your right mm -hmm. for the pension. Mm -hmm. And it's very technical, very difficult and technical Uh, problems, but it's necessary to have an harmonization between the different rules mm -hmm. between different countries. Mm -hmm. And we need mm -hmm. Europe, but I think you're right, mm -hmm. <laughs> Europe need needs us, uh, need us, because liberal profession from an economical point of view are, according to me, very important mm -hmm. and it's necessary to, to listen the voice, mm -hmm. if you accept the system, mm -hmm. the voice of liberal profession mm. because we like independence we like proximity with our clients and we are generally generally mm. Mm. we are an expert mm. in uh, for example mm. i'm specialist in uh, uh, employment mm. empl mm. law mm. or labor law, law uh, social uh, affairs social affairs. but I, I, as far as i uh, know you are a very busy lawyer in paris already yes. How do you manage it? I mean, to head such an important institution <laughs> over here in Brussels uh, and doing your uh, everyday work in, uh, no. in, in Paris. And you have got a big family as yes. well. Yes, but <laughs> thanks God, there is TGV. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, Brussels and Paris are very close with yeah. TGV. And it's very easy to make an appointment in Brussels or mm. in Paris. Mm. No, yes. To be a president of Europe, it's not a job, it's mm. only to be busy, because mm. my job, mm. <laughs> I'm a lawyer, mm. it's only a volunteer, okay? Mm. And in addition, I am elected by all the pension funds, you know? Mm. And it's not, uh, it's not my professional life. Mm. 
because today I am not an, on work. Mm. I am not working. I am not working. I you don't earn money with this. <laughs> yes, I mean, I you don't, don't receive any money through yes, us. So that's, uh, that's for sure. Um, but uh, so uh, one and a half hours between Brussels, uh, the little sister of Paris and Paris where you live. So uh, you are quite satisfied with uh, yes. Brussels being yes, uh, yes. capital still, although no, all the yes. incidents. I think it's very very easy uh, to, to work in Brussels and with IT, you know, uh, with Wi-Fi, it's no, no, no problem for me. And, mm. you know, before, before our interview, mm. I was with my iPhone mm -hmm. <laughs> to speak with my client. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but no problem for me. No But problem. there are some French who have uh, really uh, heavy problems with what's going on in Brussels over here. How is the, the atmosphere between uh, Paris uh, and Brussels to describe right now? You know, it's very difficult. I think Brussels people, Brussels people and Parisian people you know, uh, have the same problems mm. and about security, about employment, etc., etc. And I don't see a very many difference between the two capitals. Yes, Paris is, is bigger than Brussels, but actually I think uh, the topics are the same thing. And for French people it's very important to think how oh, the other people, the other country, are the same people, that, the same problems than mm. that me. Mm. And, you know, for European sp spirit, for European mind, mm. it's very imp uh, important to share, mm. to share our opinion, to share our thinkings mm. and to, to, to know the other Better. The other part. But you have to deal with uh, many different um, uh, emotions over here, many different uh, characteristics uh, within your uh, association as well. Yes. So how to deal with, uh, to deal. Uh, yeah, how to deal with these uh, different yes. behaviors, you know, with uh, first, different attitudes? First, I think it's very important to be polite with each people, Portuguese, Spanish, uh, Belgium, uh, mm. German, mm. etc. And if you have uh, an open-minded, I think it's very important to, to understand the other, the, 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 the other people. Mm -hmm. And actually, I, I think it's not so, it's not, it's not a stress for me mm -hmm. uh, to, to, to meet uh, other people mm -hmm. uh, because this diversity is a difference are maybe more important than if we have the same spirit. Mm -hmm. Yes, during the meeting, it's not so easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not so easy mm -hmm. to shame uh, the same problematics, mm -hmm. to shame the... But after, after uh, it's possible. Uh, but the, the atmosphere is changing a bit, not only in Brussels, but in France as well. We see... Um, different movements uh, towards more Euroscepticism. Um, France used to be a very pro-European pro uh, country. It is changing a bit in uh, parts of, uh, uh, of, the, uh, of the people. Um, so how do you see the future of uh, this European project? Do you have still confidence in the future? Do you still, yes. Are you still sure that you will have uh, a European yes. association in 10 years' time? Yeah. From a political point of view, I'm confident in the European future because I think it's our duty and it's an, it's necessary to have a great uh, uh, to have a, a big area, a European area uh, against the, the 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 world. Okay, mm. but especially in France, there are many political movements. There are to to be only with 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 us only uh, nationalism. Uh, etc., egoism, etc., etc., and I think this period is very, very difficult to improve, to grow the European spirit. And you know, the main problem I think one one of the main problem is a bureaucratic spirit. You know, you know, to mm. go inside this mm. building, <laughs> it was so difficult. Yeah, I understand mm. for security reason, etc. Mm. It's okay, but you know, it's. It, I think, is a symbol uh, of the complexity mm. it's, and this complicated mm. life for European people when you are when you have no job, uh, difficult with your family, etc., mm. economic problems. Uh, you don't like, you don't love the others people, mm. Mm. and the nationalism. I think, is, um, the, the 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 worst opponent 
for, for European spirit. Mm. Uh, but the future is not easy, but we have to, to believe in the European future. We do have to believe in, to, in the European future. Wir müssen weiterhin an das europäische Projekt glauben. Merci beaucoup, Pierre Merci Jacques beaucoup. Castanet. Uh, à la prochaine, j'espère. Vielen Dank, dass Sie zugeschaut haben. Um, wir müssen weiterhin an Europa arbeiten. Deswegen werden wir auch weiterhin an dieser Sendung arbeiten und werden auch beim nächsten Mal wieder einen spannenden Gast hier haben. Vielen Dank, dass Sie reingeklickt und zugeschaut haben. Bis bald. Tschüss.